Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for our virtual card class. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. I have four card projects that we're going to be doing. I'm going to be using product out of the Celebration book. Um, Celebration, as you don't know, is if you place a qualifying order, you get to pick free product out of this book. So I'll explain it as we go. Um, I will go slow because we have a lot to do and I want to show you how a lot of this product coordinates uh, with items that we currently have in the catalog. So uh, let's get started. Um, but before we do, I do want to show you a card class that I have. So for my local ladies, my, my local stampers that are in the Wisconsin area, I want to show you some of the cards that we're going to be making. So we're going to be making this one. Isn't that cute? We will be making a total of six cards. Isn't this adorable? This is using the Celebration product. Um, here's another one. Isn't that pretty? And we have this one. And a So Sorry. And we have this. And then I have this one. I think this one here is my favorite. I love the camper, the trailer. I, I, I think that's so cute. Um, so with this, for in person, you have three, three dates to choose from. It is July 22nd. I have a class at 10 a.m. and at 6 p.m. And then Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Be sure to sign up. The class is $20 to register. You do have to register online to save your seat because seating is limited. So each workshop is limited to 8 to 10 people. So be sure to do that. When you place an order the night of the card club, I will reimburse you that $20. So it's $20 up front. You place an order, I will reimburse you that $20. So be sure to register. Go to my website, lovedbyhimdesigns.com. I do have a link on there to register for that. And I will be posting this information on the Facebook page. But I have everything all on my website. So let's get crafting. And I have some awesome things to show you at the end. So let me just scooch my chair up a little bit, get my glasses, and we will get started. So here's the Celebration Catalog. Lots of really cool things in here. Let me show you just it's a small catalog. We are going to be using the Hippest Hippos. So with an order of $50, you can get this for free. Also has the coordinating dies. Amazing. Love it. These are so cute. And I am not a cutesy, cutesy stamper, but I think these are just adorable. Then we have this Ringed with Nature or Rings of Love. Sorry. Um, it goes with the Rings of Nature stamp set, the bundle. We're going to be using this paper. And I'll show you how to coordinate the dies and the embossing folder. We have this beautiful paper. You get the paper in the envelopes. Here's a nice stamp set. And here you get some pretty silver and gold cardstock. It's a 6x6 six six paper pack. This amazing phrases is literally what it is. Amazing. I love all these sayings. And here's the camper. Here is the tree lot dies. This is so awesome. This coordinates with the stamp set that's in our catalog. Uh, it's called Trees for Sale. It's awesome. We're going to be using that today as well. Then we have this Wonderful World stamp set, and you get this really pretty paper. And then if you host a party, you automatically get this set free, the perfect pomegranate. So that's re really cool. And then if you decide to join my team, you get to pick $125 worth of product for only $99. Their special that they have now during celebration is this really cool binder. So 
I will be honest, when I first saw it, I was not thrilled. But once I got it and I played with it, I think it is just the coolest thing. So you don't need to use it as a calendar. I'm going to be using mine as my prayer journal. I'm going to be writing scripture out. So you have your calendar. You have here where you can list your purpose, your values, passions, skills, mission. Very cool. This will help me keep my focus for my business. Making sure that I keep God first in everything that I do. So, and then here we have July. So here's the July. And it, it's big enough where you can write things. And then after that, each month has where you can list all the things that you need to do. In my case, I'm going to be doing it as a scripture journal. So I'm going to write down a scripture that stood out to me in my quiet time each day. So that's cool. It goes through all the months. It is like a year and a half worth of calendar space. And with this, you also get a stamp set, which helps you design your, your binder. You get three different journals. So in this journal, we have lined pages. In this journal, we have dots. In this journal, it is plain. So you can design your cards in here. You could draw. You could sketch. You could do anything you want in here. So I think it's very cool. Um, then also, in your kit, you get a bunch of stickers and labels that you can put on. So you have two of those. And then you get these really pretty flowers and more tags, labels, and markers. So pretty cool. So I'm going to be playing with this more. And I will keep you updated as to how my journal's going. Um, again, if you are interested in joining my team, you do get all of my tutorials for free. Um, when you order the kit for the the $99, the $125 in product, it's free shipping. And you get a 20% discount on all future orders. Very cool. All right. So we are going to start. We are going to be using Hippest Hippo. And we are going to be using the coordinating die. So both of these, again, I showed you, are in that celebration catalog. And you get these for free. If you spend $50, you can get one. Another $50, you get the other. So you have all the dies. Very cute. So let's get crafting because we are going to be doing some of the die cutting here. So let me just put that there. So now what we are going to do is we are going to take... This is supposed to be basic white. I don't know why that's not white. But it's very vanilla. On your card, use basic white. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to take this. We're going to fold this in half. A mistake right off the get-go. Good gravy. All right, looking for my bone folder. I know I have it. There it is. All right. So we will just crisp that down. Then... I had taken a piece of petal pink and I ran it through the embossing machine. Um, I used the, uh, this is the one that looks like stucco. I don't think that's available, but you can use any embossing folder that you have. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it on our basic gray. I am going to be also posting today um, what our July monthly card club is going to be. All right, so we attach that. Then what we're going to do is take this and attach it with dimensionals and put it onto there. So we'll grab some dimensionals. Everybody knows I love my dimensionals. And we don't want to waste any of these, so I'm just going to tear off a piece. I'll put it right there. 
Grab another little section and put it in the middle because we don't need a saggy middle. None of us like that. All right, so then we will take this. And again, this is supposed to be basic white. I don't know why I grabbed very vanilla. I don't know, but it'll work. So there we go, we have that. So here's our card so far, this is what we have. Now we're just gonna put this on the side and we're gonna do some stamping and some die cutting. So we have a piece of scrap white. We are going to stamp our, our little hippo. So we're gonna grab our black, put them on there. We'll grab our basic gray. Please put a comment, let me know you're here, send me some hearts, love, likes, all that fun stuff. Alright, so we have that, we'll clean it off, and we'll put him back, her back, whatever. Okay, so now we're going to color this in, but before we do that, I have a piece of pear pizzazz. I die cut out a little circle, and we're going to stamp our sentiment on here. We're going to use white. Now, this white, it's a pigment ink, so it does take a little longer time to dry. So we're going to stamp that real quick. We're going to get our sentiment on here. And our sentiment is, you're always on point. Kind of cute. There we go. And then we'll just put this on the side because I want it to have a little time to dry. So I'm just going to slide that over. All right. So I had also cut out a large circle of pear pizzazz. Same size circle of the white. And what I did was I had taken the dye from our kit and I just laid it oops, right in the center because I only want to use half of the paper. So I ran it through my emboss machine. We're going to take this and put this on the side. I don't need that, but I want this piece. So we are going to attach these two. So we'll just grab some of our stamp and seal. And we're just going to put the, I don't know why I turned the circle, but we're just going to attach this right at the bottom. There we go. So it looks like we have a background. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our mint macaroon. We're going to take our blending brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on here. And let me get a scrap paper. that and I'm going to grab my clouds turn it the right way so you can see it right. some clouds on here oh, hold that down a little better there we go I'll just go over it one here, maybe another one here. All right, so just rub that in. There we go. Now to clean these, what I do is I go to my sink, I add some Dawn dish soap, rub it in, rinse it with hot water, shake it out, let it dry. You just have to make sure you rinse it really well. All right, so we have that. Now, we'll just put this on the side and we're going to go back to coloring our little hippo. So I'm going to be grabbing some of my blends. I'm gonna use the light smoky slate. So we're just gonna color her in. 
I really should get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so let's do this part here light. There we go. Do our hands. I really love my blends. I think these are so neat. Now, if you don't have it in the budget to get them, that's fine. In the past, I've used my blender pen. So to use the blender pen, what I would do is I would take the ink pad, squeeze it in the center really hard so that you get ink up on the lid. And then you take your blender pen, swoosh it in there, and then you have the same thing. So it's a little trick. Okay. So she's colored there. Let's get her ears. All right. So we have her colored there. I'm going to take my Puddle Pink Blends, or I'm sorry, Pale Papaya. So we'll use the dark and we'll color in the little tutu. Oh, I think I missed part of her belly. the light one again. Color that. There we go. So she is colored. Move our scrap paper on the side. And we'll pull out our embossing machine here. Let's get my tiles. So we have our base. I don't need such a big piece, so I'm just going to trim that up a bit. Lay my thing down just like that. Now I want to get the coordinating die. Uh, let's see, is this it or is this one it? I believe this one is the one. So we're just going to line it up. Hope it doesn't move. If you find that yours are moving all the time, you can always take a sticky note and tap it down. Oops, put that there and then we'll go right through. See, and now she's all cut out. out. Move that to the side because we're going to need it again. Oops. All right. So let's start putting this guy together or this gal. So what we need to do is take our little circle and we're going to attach it right on here. I'm going to add some dimensionals. Open it the right way. Put that here. And I'm going to grab some of my mini dimensionals. The minis are nice. I love them too. And actually we'll put our hippo on first. There we go. So we'll have her in place. And like this, like she's dancing away. And we'll grab the minis and we'll put them on the back of this grass. So there is a grass die in here. 
So I just pre-did those. Our next card we're going to do a lot of the embossing machines. So I didn't want you to have to watch me do all of the cards with the <laughs> sticking them through there. So So when you place an order with me, I have an ordering incentive, ordering special. If you place oops, a qualifying order with me to get the celebration products or host a workshop during celebration, you will be included in a celebration celebration. And you ask, what is a celebration celebration? Well, let me tell you. It is. If you do either of those two things or join my team, you will be included in a celebration. So there will be a full card class that you will get. You will get all the supplies. You will get gifts, door prizes, all really cute tchotchkes, um, a lot of fun stuff. So I encourage you to do that. It's not offered through anyone else but me. So you get the full class, you get the videos, you will get tutorials. Um, there's door prize, prize patrol. And there's also going to be just a lot of fun. So if you're local, I'm going to be doing one local and then I'll be doing one online so don't delay you want to get that all your stuff ordered all right so i die cut out these little hearts and we're just going to add them to our card so i want to use my mini glue dots so grab one of those and then we'll just randomly scatter them on our card. And you want to roll it up a little bit because the heart is really tiny. So I hope everyone had a fantastic 4th of July. Here in Wisconsin, we had a great morning with all the parades and everything, and then it started to rain. So the weather wasn't all that great, but the day before was fabulous. All right, we need our baker's twine. We're going to make a double bow, so we're just going to take a piece, fold it in half, snip there, snip at the bottom. And get that bow tied. Just going to play with it a little bit. go. Now we'll take one of our mini glue dots wherever I set them down. So does anybody else have that problem? You're just using something, you set it down, and it's like, where on earth did it just go? It's not like it's small. I should be able to see it. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I am blind as a bat. There it is. Ugh. All right, so I'm just going to roll that, and I'm going to put it right where I want it, which is right at the top here, and then just take my bow and put that right on there. So here is our first card. This is the sample one I had done. Oh, I forgot to add my bling. Can't have that. So I'm going to be using the 2021-2023 in-color opal rounds. Very pretty. 
absolutely love these. These are just gorgeous. So we will add some of those on here. Again, if you know me and you've watched my videos, do an odd number. Odd is always more eye-pleasing. So here is our first card. All right, so there's that. We'll put our little hippos away. So the next card, we're going to have a little bit of Christmas in July. Going to be using the Tree Lot dies. So let's move our little hippos away. All right, so we are going to be using Trees for Sale. And here's the Tree Lot dies. So this is what the dies look like. Just open it up so you don't get that glare. So here you have the little camper. Isn't that adorable? Love it, love it, love it. And then we have like the Christmas lights and the pole. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use all of them. So I will just set this there. Get that paper out of the way. And what you're going to want to do is grab a piece of real red, and this is cut the long way. I'm going to take this, simply fold it in half, just like that. All right, then we will take a piece of our, oh, let's see here piece of our designer series paper. Now this designer series paper is amazing. I absolutely love it. It is the, oh I forget the name of it, uh, the Rings of Love. So we're going to be using this paper throughout the next three cards. So we'll take our, I'll, I'll show you more, more of the paper as we go. So we'll take our stamp and seal. Like that. We'll put it at towards the bottom of the card. Just like that. And we're going to open the card, grab our real red. Probably should have done this before I added that designer series paper, but that's okay. So we are going to grab the little dots. So we have dots, and we're just going to randomly put some of our dots around the border of our card. You want to kind of rotate the stamp a bit. You're not going to see some of it, so. There we go. Oh, you know what? Add some here. Perfect. Clean that off. All right. So then what we will do is we will put that on the side. We'll take our basic white. And we are going to stamp our sentiment on the top. And our sentiment will be you light up the season. Is this one? And we're going to use our real red ink again. And we're just going to put that right at the top. Just like that. Clean our stamp. And that is all we need for the red so we can. Go on and close this up. Close our card. And then we will attach this after we take our baker's twine. All right. So we're going to take like the, the crumb cake color. And we're going to wrap it around several times. Why don't you go this way? Go around three times. Tie it off. 
make a really cute bow. You could always just tie a knot if bows aren't your thing. So with the twine, I like to make like a double knot. So that it helps hold it in place so I can make my bow a little easier. And just do that. Now we have our bow. Let's add some dimensionals on here and pop this this guy up. Alright, I need to add grab a fresh pack of dimensionals. this over make sure I have the top at the top and I'm just going to put this down just like that so this is where we're at now now what we're going to do is take some scrap white paper and actually we'll put that on the side we'll use this so I want to stamp out some trees now this is kind of a two-step stamp, so we want one of each of the trees. So there's three trees, and we're going to do the outline of them first, which is kind of weird, I know, but it works. All right, so I'm going to grab my... to grab my, what am I grabbing first? I am grabbing my Evening Evergreen. Stamp. There we go. So there's one. Clean that one off. Put it back. Another one, and we'll add some interest, some colors with that top layer. All right, so I hope these work. All right, so now we want the base. going to grab my mint macaroon and this is for this tree the little one there we go all right he's clean now we'll grab the middle one and then this one it's juiced up, but we're going to stamp off and then put them on. Put them on nice and tight. So you get a lighter color. Pretty cool, eh? Alright, so then I'll grab the big tree. And put it on. And just do a light tap. Push down on it. There we go. So each of them look a little different. Okay, let's close this up. We'll cut out our trees. Now, you could always choose to hand cut them, but I would rather use a die cut. 
just because I have it. If you don't have it, that's cool. Alright, so I'm going to lay my big tree down. Grab my outline one. And just put that right here. Hope it doesn't move. Here's tree number one. Oh. Let's grab our other ones. So now we can actually do both of these at the same time. So I know some of the die cuts you can double up on paper. Doesn't always work. You gotta kind of roll it through and then ro roll it back if you're going to use more than one sheet. You don't want to put too much in because you don't want to crack your boards. That would not be good. And a lot of us demonstrators were so excited when they came out with the magnetic board. However, Stampin' Up! ended up pulling it because it wasn't up to Stampin' Up! standards. So it had some faults to it, it had some issues. So as opposed to deal with a faulty product, they chose to pull it, which was a great idea. So for those of you that purchased that, you will be getting a credit for the amount of the embossing machine, or the... Uh, the magnet board, you're, you're going to get a credit for that. So that's very cool. Alright, now we need to stamp our tree stands and our little dog. So let's get the stamp out for our little dog. I'll put him on a block. And then Christmas tree can't stay up without a tree stand. So we're going to stamp some of those. Use my soft suede. So we're going to do our tree stands first. I need three of them. One, two, and three. We're going to use the same color for our dog. However, we're going to stamp them off. We'll do a practice run. Everybody always has scrap paper laying around. So we're going to stamp, lift, too dark. That's what I want. So, juice them up again. Stamp off on scrap paper. And now we'll add them here. There I'm a little dog. So, and our little dog does need... A nose and an eyeball. So we we'll give our little dog a nose and there's his eyeball. Gotta have one of those. Alright, so let's die cut these out and then I'm going to show you how to use a product that I really really love now that I've played with it and used it. Grab our machine again. We need our dog die. See, this, this die set is awesome. So you don't have to fussy cut all this stuff. I know people who love to fussy cut. I am not one of those. I only have one tree stand die. So we'll have to run that through a couple times. Oh, my little dog moved. Line him up because you don't want to cut off a leg or anything. There we go. That should be good. And there we go. Here's our little dog. 
and one of our tree stands. Just have to do two more tree stands. This will not take long. I really like the new celebration product. And even more so, I love the items in the new mini catalog. Have you all taken a look at that? They are so neat. There's a lot of neat new stuff in there. So tomorrow I am going to come back on live and we're going to do a Christmas in July video. So we're going to do some more Christmas cards. Because you have to start early, otherwise you're never going to get them all done. Alright, so let's move this over. So, what I am so excited about is using this foam adhesive sheets. So you get a full sheet, it's as big as the paper, you can cut it to however you want it. So, I had cut off a section, taking one side off, and I cut my paper the same, same size, this is soft suede, and I'm just going to lay this right on top, because we're going to be die cutting some poles. Now, this would be too hard to try and fit dimensionals behind it. So, you put that on here, you lay it right just like so. Okay, come on, there we go. Oh, goodness, let's try it again. Stuck to my finger. All right. And we'll run that through. Now you'll have the perfect amount of adhesive on the back, and you didn't have to worry about trying to fit those dimensionals on here. All right, so here's our first pole. Need one more. Yes, there is a lot of die cutting. However, the card is adorable. You'll see when we're finished. that away. Now we have our two poles. So then when we go, oops, go to adhere this, all we have to do is pull the backing off. One more thing to die cut would be our lights. Because you gotta, if you're having poles, you gotta have some lights. So I'm just gonna grab some of the white. Gonna cut out two of these. Super easy. This card is adorable, I guarantee it. If your paper ever gets stuck, just drop it on a hard surface, and nine times out of ten, it will just pop out of the die. Or there are actually some little holes in the bottom or in the back. So, like on this trailer die, there's like little pinholes. If you just stick a pin through there, it pops out your image. All right, let's start putting this together now that we've got everything stamped and cut. So, we're going to start with our poles. So we're going to take off that adhesive, and we'll put our first pole down here. There we go. Do our second pole. Some of you probably saw the card. <laughs> Whoops! There. Now we will add our trees, so we're going to grab some dimensionals. 
The next two cards, I promise, are not as crazy intense. So I'll just put one on here. Do two on this tree. And one on the other tree. So I don't know if any of you saw, I did a flea market over the weekend. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. Um, got to meet a lot of interesting people. So I thought that was a lot of fun. Just going to lay our trees on here. Take the paper off. That'd probably help, huh? There we go. Now we have to add these, so we're going to grab our minis. Yeah, I got to meet a lot of very interesting people. Found out that there are a lot, a lot of stampers in my area. And now I live in a very rural area. I live out in the country, so it was nice to get to meet people and know that there's others out there like me. <laughs> There. Oh. there we go. Now we're going to try and fit that in the little hole. Okay. So let's lift our tree up on that side. Lift our tree. Up on this side. Get that in there. Whoop! There we go. Come on. Maybe. Okay, I had tweezers here. There we go. Tweezers are a lifesaver. Sorry, I have to see it so I can. There we go. So now I'll take this, tuck that in. We have our tree bottom to tuck in. Well, we'll get to that later. So let's attach our little dog. So we will grab some of the mini dimensionals. I'll just grab one for him. We'll put him like he's jumping up on the pole. Now we have these lights, so we're just going to grab some of our blends. And we're just going to color in. Is that the side I want? Yep. Color in some circles. So these are our Christmas tree lights. Some yellow. And then we have to have some pink. Christmas tree. There are some blue and purple. And then let's see here. We need some green, dark green. Do an orange. All right, and then all we're going to do is attach these on. So we'll attach them on just like that. So you're going to stick like a mini glue dot or a dimensional, a mini dimensional on there. So this is our next card. Here is the first card that we made. Isn't that cute? All right, so we got that. Now the next few cards go really quick. I promise. 
All right, so we are going to be using the stamp emboss fold embossing folder. Here are the dies, and here's the stamp set. Super easy card to make. I've done most of the work ahead of time. So, let me get my trees out of the way. So, we take our basic white, fold it in half. These are two really quick, easy cards. We are going to take our crushed curry and lay that on here. Now we have our designer series paper, so we will add that on here as well. This designer paper is just amazing. Once we get this card together, I'll show you the paper. It's that way, make sure I have this facing the right direction. Alright, so there's that. So then I had taken some crumb cake and some basic white. Uh, this is actually Sahara sand. And I ran my paper through using this embossing folder. So this embossing folder has just thick, deep grooves. I don't know if you can see the texture on the camera, but there are just some deep, deep, deep grooves. Very cool, very needed. So, we use this, then I went ahead and I pulled my die, so you can use the big ones or you could use the little ones, and I die cut these out. I took the same size die, but I grabbed a smaller circle and I cut out so it would match and fit together just like this. So see how the two grooves match up here? So I use the same piece in a different color and just cut it smaller. Isn't that awesome? So we got that. We're going to attach this together. So we'll use our stamp and seal. And I'll just attach that just like this. Oh, you know what? I put it the wrong direction. <laughs> right, let's try that again. All right, there we go. Now I have it facing the right way. Okay, we're going to pop this up with some dimensionals. Yeah, the flea market was a lot of fun. Like I said, I got to meet a bunch of very interesting people. Found out that there are a lot of crafters out there just like me. I was very happy and excited about that. Um, got a lot of people that didn't even know about card making. So I was really happy to be able to share that with people. Alright, so now we're going to be using our white and we'll stamp our sentiment and our sentiment will be happy anniversary so you get a bunch of stamps in this stamp set absolutely love it now this stamp set is not in the set celebration catalog however it is in our new mini catalog so you want to be sure to check that out it coordinates with the the ringed paper I mean everything is just fabulous all right, we'll get this on our block. Juice that up with the white. And stamp that down. I don't know if I got that centered. No, I did not. Good thing I got another piece. Because I just had that feeling it was going to do that. So, I'll do it again. Hopefully, I did better. Better-ish. So now, if I was definitely doing and making this for somebody I would redo it and now with these smaller labels 
what I normally do is I, I stamp my image first and then I put my die around it and then run it through. Then I'm not wasting a whole lot of paper. All right, so we will let that dry because again, this is that pigment ink. So I'll just let that dry. I have already cut out from the die set our little sprigs, twigs, and we are going to color them. So I want to take some, what is this, Poppy Parade, no, Sweet Sorbet, I'll, I'll do that. And actually I want Poppy Parade, so all matches. Find that. Nope. Same mark I just had. That's cherry. Poppy. Okay. I'm going to grab my marker and just color the tips of the flowers. Doesn't have to be an exact. I'm just giving a little color. Color. And we'll do that on the second one. So next week, I am going to be doing a BOGO. Buy one, get one. So you have to watch for the information on that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Basically, you buy product that I currently have on hand. It's it's the retired product. The brand new stuff. Some is, is gently used. Um, and then whatever you spend on that, you get to order product from the new catalog and you get it for free. So how amazing is that? All right. So that is pretty much how that works. So is this the dark or the light? This was the dark. Okay. Coloring our leaves. There we go. Now we will attach everything to our card. So we have our card back here. We will put this down first. It's going to grab our dimensionals. One on each side so you have room in the center to tuck those sprigs. And we will put this on a slight angle. There we go. Now, we want to grab our glue dots without taking a dot, putting it right on the back. Probably only need the one on each piece. So tuck that in. There we go. Do the same thing with the next one. So again, don't forget, you want to be included in that celebration celebration. You're going to have a lot of fun. You get a full card class. You get prizes. You get all kinds of stuff. And all you need to do is place a qualifying order of $50 or more so that you get your celebration product. Um, obviously, the more you spend, the more free stuff you get. And you end up eventually getting host rewards, which is awesome. And then we are going to have a full night of just having a celebration. It's going to be awesome. All right, so we got our bow. Cut that. And we want our mini glue dot. There we go. Put that right on the end here. And there we have 
Isn't that cute? Very nice. All right. We are on to our fourth and final card. But before we do that, let's take a look at this designer series paper. Isn't that awesome? I love this color. We have the leaves and the acorns. All kinds of beautiful stuff. And this is a, a pack of paper. I get a full pack of paper for free. I love the little birds. The houses. And in the tree lot dies, you, you get the die that cuts out the houses, which is cool. And we just use this. The wood. Isn't that nice? Awesome. So this is a free item that you can get. All right, let's do our last card. All right, so we're going to take our piece of basic white, fold it in half, We have designer series paper cut to the exact dimensions of the face of the card. So I'll put that on here. See, isn't this paper pretty? Very nice. Alright, so we'll line this up. Just put this right on top. Just like that. And we have our green. I use the deckled rectangle dies. So we're going to stamp. We are going to be using the same stamp set, so I'm going to be looking for my little leaves. So I'm going to use this one, and this one, and this third one. Oh, there we go. All right, so we are going to use our, uh, what color ink should we use? I think we should use mint macaroon. Let's go with that. And we're just going to randomly put our leaf images all around. one. Now the images don't have to be completely and totally on the paper. You can have some parts that are hanging off. But you probably want to have some scrap paper underneath it. There you go, see, because we got that. Alright. So those are finished. Alright, so then what we'll do is we'll take this and attach this with dimensionals to our paper. Alright, that's that way, so I'll put this right here in the center. There we go. Now we have scrap paper. We need to stamp our flowers. So where are my flowers? I need these flowers. And I could have missed them. They're stained red already. <laughs> that one can go back. Alright, so I need these, and then I need this one that has like the little spot for the flowers. So 
So we're going to use this. We're going to stamp off and put a lighter image. Okay, that didn't work great, so we'll do it again. Stamp, stamp. There we go. But it's probably too close to that edge. Stamp. Let's do one more. There we go. That's what I want. Now I need Poppy Parade. So I'll pull that out. Okay, we'll juice up our flowers. And we'll line them up at the top. There we go. The top. Perfect. So then these we do have to hand cut so not the end of the world but we will take our label before we do that and we will stamp our sentiment and the sentiment we're going to use is just for you put this right in the center There we go. And this, of course, was cut out of the deckled rectangles. We'll close that and let's trim these out real quick. Now, when you're cutting things out, move your paper. Don't move your scissors as much. Just rotate the paper it, that's in your scissors. You get a nicer finish. all that long. We got one. And it's cut on white, so if you don't cut it out perfectly, really nobody is going to notice because it's on the white. It's going to blend in with our label. Unless you had a colored label, well then it might show a little bit, but otherwise we are good. So I will see you all back here tomorrow for our Christmas in July card. And we're going to grab some dimensionals. Again, don't forget, celebration, celebration, to be included in that. I mean, you're going to get some awesome prizes. You are not going to want to miss it. It's very cool. So we'll put these on the side. We need to, too busy talking, not worrying what I'm doing here. You're not going to want to miss it. If you're interested in a workshop, we can do it in person, depending where you live. Or we can also do it online. We can do a Zoom. So a card class, glass of wine, always fun. There. And then this one goes here. And then, now I know why I didn't put this down right away. I'm just going to pop that up real quick. Good thing it didn't stick. So we're going to take our pool party ribbon and we're just going to wrap it around our hand couple times and then we're just going to cut 
we're going to grab our Stampin' Steel Plus. So two or three lines here. There. Okay. So now we're going to take our ribbon that we just cut, put it right on the top, just like that. Now we will put our label right on the top of that. All right. Now we need our bling. We have to have some bling on this card. So we will use we'll use the green. Remember, odd number. And here we go. Aren't these cute? Love them. All right, so we made four cards using product from Celebration and the new mini catalog. Let me pull out the cards that we did. Pull that one out. So there's a lot of product that coordinates with the product in the new mini catalog. So here are, oh, which way am I going? Here we go. Here are the cards that we did. Aren't they cute? All right. So this was our virtual card class. Um, I will be back here tomorrow, and we will have a Christmas in July, so we'll be making a couple cards using some of the new product in the new catalog and some of the product in the celebration catalog. Also, if you'd like to be a part of my team, please message me. I'd love to help you with that. Again, you get all my tutorials, all my classes for free. Um, that, that's always a bonus. Plus, Stampin' Up! has an awesome bonus where you get $125 worth of product for only $99. And they are giving you three journals and this wonderful planner. All right, so with all of that said, you all have a wonderful evening, and I will see you all here tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.